Do you know what the difference is between seas and oceans? The most important difference between seas and oceans is that seas are a lot smaller and they belong to the oceans. Actually, they are part of them. The seas are the part of the oceans which are closest to land. We all know that on our planet we have five oceans. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Antarctic. But do you know how many seas there are? Well, there are 57. And the largest are the Arabian Sea, the South China Sea, Caribbean Sea, Mediterranean Sea, and the Bering Sea. Did you know that at the bottom of the sea there are volcanoes and large plains? Although a lot of people think that the bottom of the sea is flat, it's not true. Actually, the bottom of the sea is like land. It has mountains, volcanoes, caves, great plains and even waterfalls. It's so deep and big that although it may seem incredible, there are many places where humans have not yet reached. Actually, 95% of the sea remains unexplored. There's so much to discover. Do you know that the Everest isn't the largest mountain in the world? Well, no. The largest mountain on Earth is in the sea and it's called Mauna Kea. This inactive volcano, located in a Hawaiian island, measures from the surface to its tip 4,207 meters. But if we measure it from its base, which is at the bottom of the ocean, it measures 10,000 meters high. And if we compare this to 8,848 meters of the Everest, they turn the Mauna Kea into the largest mountain in the world. What is true? is that the Everest is the highest point on Earth. What do you think we know more about? Planet Mars or the oceans? Well, although it may seem incredible, we know Mars's surface more and better than the bottom of the sea. Human beings know very little about species which habitat the oceans and there are still many to be discovered. It's probable that most of these species are very small organisms. But scientists believe that there are still fish and mammals which have not been discovered yet. Each year we discover a mean of 2,000 new species. Did you know that the sea is the biggest rubbish dump in the universe? Yes, sadly, the sea has been used for a long time as a dump. Without realising, 
Oceans are the lungs of our planet. More than 50% of the air we breathe is produced at sea. The Mediterranean Sea is the most contaminated in the world. But sadly, most oceans are at an alarming stage. Plastics, pesticides, chemical substances, oil, all affect the sea's health and living things within it. More than a hundred thousand marine animals, like penguins, whales, dolphins, turtles, fish, and birds die every year only because of the plastic in the sea. Please respect and take care of nature. Don't throw rubbish to the sea or rivers and always recycle. If we take care of the water, if we take care of the sea, we will make all living things live in a better world, cleaner and happier. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Why are there waves in the sea? When we look at the sea, there are always waves, some smaller or larger, like these, where we can even surf. But how are waves produced? Waves are produced in various ways. The most common one is because of the effect of the wind. When wind blows over the sea, it causes displacements in water masses, which produce lots of waves. The size and speed of these waves depend on the strength which the wind is blowing at. The stronger the wind is, the bigger the waves. But the greatest waves of all, the most destructive ones, are tsunamis. These terrible waves are produced by a sea quake, which are seismic movements, earthquakes, at the bottom of the sea. They can also be produced by the eruption of volcanoes, both on land and under sea. The truth is that tsunamis are very scary. But thankfully, not all waves are destructive. I love waves in the summer because I have so much fun surfing and also because we have already learnt how they are produced. I'm going to enjoy them a lot more. Goodbye friends, see you in the next happy learning video. <laughs>